Yo, what's up YouTube? Antoine Stark here, gonna show you guys in this video how to buy SafeMoon on iPhone using Trust Wallet. So this is gonna be a quick tutorial, maybe 10 minutes. Guys, you're gonna need Trust Wallet installed, so go to your app store, download Trust. Um, this is gonna be the icon. Make sure you check the reviews to make sure you are downloading the right version. Um, also, you are gonna go to the SafeMoon website. Link will be in the description below. On the SafeMoon website, what you want to do is click on Buy Now. And if you scroll down, there's going to be the address for SafeMoon contract right here. And what you want to do is hit Copy. Now, just a helpful hint, if this video doesn't help you out, on this screen here, on this web page, it actually shows you how to buy SafeMoon on Trust Wallet here. All right. Pretty simple steps. All right. Now, now that you have your safe moon address copied and you have trust wallet installed this is what you're gonna have to do if you are just now installing trust wallet at the bottom of the screen here you're only going to see three tabs you're gonna see wallet Dex, and settings you don't have the browser option like I do so what you're gonna have to do is go to Google type in DAPP trust wallet and it's going to show you how to get the browser tab at the bottom. It's pretty simple. You literally just have to click on the link. It's going to give you a pop-up box that says open. You hit open and then you get the, uh, the browser tab. It's so simple. I'll probably try to put that link in the description as well. You're going to have to copy that link and paste it into your Safari browser and open it with your Safari browser. All right. So now next steps, we are in Trust Wallet. What you want to do is click on browser at the bottom. You want to scroll down to popular and you want to click on pancake swap all right now that you're on pancake swap you have to connect your trust wallet to pancake swap and you can update your profile if you'd like to uh, so what you want to do is at the top right there's going to be a big blue button uh, it could be a different color it's going to say connect or connect to wallet you want to click on that and in the options you're going to choose trust wallet all right and then it's going to automatically connect your trust wallet and then on the left, you're going to see the three menu button lines. Click on that and you want to click on exchange. All right. And this is where we're going to actually buy the SafeMoon tokens. All right. Now that you got your wallet set up, guys, you want to click X at the top and exit out of the pancake swap and go back to your wallet on your SafeMoon. All right. So this is going to be a two step process type of thing. So in order to buy the SafeMoon, you're going to have to swap over Binance tokens. So what you're going to actually buy today with your debit card or credit card is Binance tokens. And you're going to swap the Binance tokens over to SafeMoon tokens. All right. So in your list here, you're going to see Bitcoin. You're going to see Ethereum. You're going to see BNB. You're going to see Smart Chain. What you want to do is click on Smart Chain. All right. Click on it. And on your screen, if this is your first time buying Smart Chain, you should see a big blue buy button at the bottom. All right. And if you don't, you're going to see it at the top. It's going to say buy. So we're going to hit buy. Now, if you don't see a simplex option there, OK, what you want to do is type in a different amount. Fifty dollars is the minimum. However, it's not letting anyone buy fifty dollars. Um, it's not letting anyone buy less than one hundred. I so so I believe right now. All right. Once you see the simplex box, that means you are actually able to buy the tokens, the smart chain tokens. What you want to do is click next and then it's going to bring up a browser for you to put in your credit card or debit card information. You got to put your email address and all that because you have to have an account with simplex. OK, and once you do that, this is very important, guys. Once you hit pay now, it doesn't mean it's going to go through. Depending on your bank or financial institution, they could decline the transaction and have to verify that you are trying to buy it. Or you might have to wait for a text message or a call. OK, some people, this takes five minutes. Some people, it takes 20 to 30 minutes. It really depends on your financial institution. The first time I did this, it worked flawlessly. The second time I had to wait for a text to verify that I was buying it, it took less than two minutes. And after that, it has worked flawlessly again. So it really depends on your financial institution, guys. So, all right. And once you do that, you're going to hit pay now. And it's going to tell you if the, the purchase was approved. All right. Now, once you are finished buying, okay, you go home 
and you're gonna have to sit here maybe five to ten minutes uh, for me it takes two minutes some people it takes longer depending on how much traffic is going on right now um, your smart chain here has to update and it'll show you how much you have like right now I have ninety two dollars so just a heads up guys uh, when you do buy this they do take substantial amount of fees so for me it took nine dollars for some people it might take less it might take more um, but they do take quite a bit of fees okay now once this is updated guys and you see your amount here this is when you want to go back to PancakeSwap, all right? So go to Browser, scroll down to Popular, go to PancakeSwap. Make sure you're on the Exchange page. And at the bottom, you're going to see Version. You're going to see V2 and V1. We were using V1 because V2 is not working. But now V2 is solid and it is working. However, if you are unable to buy this, go try it on V1 after and see if it works. All right, so now that we are here, before we go ahead and change the tokens down here at the bottom, next to exchange, you see these three lines next to the circle. You want to click that and make sure that it says 12 under the slippage tolerance. All right. Now, and on the first box, you should see BNB already. If you don't, you can click on it and choose BNB. You should see a max button next to it at the bottom. This is where you want to paste that address that we copied at the beginning. All right. Or you can just type in safe moon. It should be in that list. You hit safe mode, and it's going to tell you that you need to have the slippage tolerance at 12%. Okay. Hit I understand if you understand, and then hit continue. All right. And now you're going to hit max next to BNB. So max, and it'll show you how many tokens you can buy right now with how many tokens you have of the smart chain or BNB. All right. Now it says I can buy. Uh, let's see, 10,762,100 tokens, all right? Now, if you want to get less, if you don't want to use your entire BNB balance, maybe you want to buy some other tokens, you can go up to the amount of BNB and change it. So say I wanted to get half, I could do 0. Uh, let's see, 0. 0.074. Now it's going to be 5 million. So it really depends on how much you want to buy. Excuse me. Now, when you see that blue swap button at the bottom, that means you're good to go to swap over or buy your safe moon tokens. Now, once you hit that, it's going to take you to two different screens uh, just to make sure you want to buy this and show you exactly how much money you're spending. So you're just going to hit yes and approve and whatnot if you want to go ahead and continue with the swap or the purchase. All right. And once you are finished with that and it tells you transaction is submitted, you want to go back to your wallet. All right. Refresh, refresh the page. And now I notice you guys, you probably don't see safe moon here. You have to put it here on the screen. So what you want to do is click on the top right where those two lines are in the two circles. Click that and you want to type in safe moon or you can paste in the address that we copied at the beginning. And you're gonna hit the little toggle over to turn it green and hit done. And now you have safe moon. And it'll show you how much you have. If it says zero, give it some time to update and it'll update for you. All right. And that is how you buy safe moon. So thanks you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you got comments, drop them in the comment section below. Maybe you guys can help each other out. I'll try to answer some of those comments below. And remember guys, I am not a financial advisor. Risk your money at your own risk. Do not risk anything you are not willing to lose. Thanks for watching guys.